was upset last night uh, with the outcome. You know, I, I wanted to finish strong, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about what's going to happen next year. So. What makes you most excited? Just you know, our playmakers, both sides of the ball, offense, defense, and special teams. You know, uh, we uh, we have a, a, a lot of great athletes, players here, and. Uh, Everyone seems focused, you know, as, as you see for the past few games. So I'm really excited. How would you size up Mayfield's rookie season, and how much does he have to do with what your belief is? In, in I mean, he had a great rookie season. You know, he broke a few records, I believe. Uh, he very, very uh, competitive, and uh, and I'm really excited to see him progress. Are you curious? Are you curious about who your offensive coordinator will be? Am I curious? No. Why not? Because, you know, it's what it is, you know. Whatever I, I think is not going to change what's going to happen, so. How do you feel you developed as a player this year just in terms of uh, the impact that you made and your ability to, to catch the ball and all of that? Yeah, um, so uh, pretty pretty good, you know, from last year. I, I still got, you know, ways to go. You know, a lot of more learning and uh, technique and everything. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm, not ha I'm not, I'm happy with where I'm at, but there's a lot of room for improvement. I believe it was tipped, um, but I got to double check. Uh, I, I got to watch it again. So I think it was tipped. Did you feel you got? Did you feel you got held on that play? Uh, yes, but you know, obviously, it doesn't matter what I say at this point. You know, it's over with. So. I thought it was a touchdown. Yeah, I was surprised we didn't, uh, or the refs didn't re review that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna watch that play. I got it. No, they didn't. They didn't uh, review it. No, I didn't have an explanation from the coach. What, we, we couldn't tell on replay. What, did you have the ball laying on the ground? I, yeah, I mean, I caught the ball. I just didn't know if if the possession was in bounds, but I, I think it was. I had to double check. The fact that there was four or five games this year that could have gone either way. There were some extenuating circumstances with officiating and stuff like that. Does that frustrate you or excite you? more for the future, you know what I'm saying? I mean like both, three. yeah, I mean both. You know, obviously we, we wanted to do what we wanted to do this year and we didn't. So uh, there's always next year for improvement and we have to make those uh, those uh, adjustments a lot earlier next year. By the end of the year, uh, what were you guys doing well on offense? What were some of the things that you guys get better at that you got to do? Just uh, pure execution, that's all it was, execution. Was there something that you felt like was the turning point for you to become more consistent or someone helped you or just anything? Well, I, I got to give all the credit to um, Darren Fell, Seth DeVal, and my uh, coaches, uh, Coach Simo and Coach Al Saunders. You know, they, they, they're all incredible, incredible people and um, uh, have great knowledge of, of the sport. And they, they've helped me throughout the year, you know, just, uh, you know, tighten up you know, a few things here and there. So I got to give credit to them. Hey, David, I know you guys have no control over who's going to be the next coach here, the offensive coordinator. Is there a group of players that's rooting for Freddie and Greg to come back? I mean, yeah, they, they've done a great job here. So, uh, you know, we can. I, if they were to come back, we would not be surprised, you know, because they, they did a great job here. Um, John Dorsey said that Freddie's going to get an interview for the head coaching job. What has he shown you since he's taken over as coordinator that maybe lets you think that he's ready for that step up? Um, toughness. Um, he's a, he's just a smart coach, and he uh, he knows that it's up to us to make plays. You know what I mean? Like any uh, anyone can call a play, but it's, it's our job to execute, and that's what we we've been doing lately. So uh, he knows uh, that the players, I'd say. Do you see his leadership potential? Maybe it's untapped, but you know what I mean. Can you see something in his personality where? Yeah, I mean, you know, he he's a guy that truly wants to win uh, for anything else, and that's that's what we need here. So. Uh, yeah. Can you kind of uh, characterize what it felt like uh, while you were grinding through an 0-16 season and how that felt uh, compared to uh, finishing a season where you're winning more than half the games in the second half? I actually don't remember that, that season. It's, it's like a blur, so uh, I can't really respond to that. You know, I don't really know too much about it. It's just, you know, out of my head. You're just forgetting it happened and what out of sight, out of mind. It's gone. Over with. I'm not even thinking about it. All good?